Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate time series forecasting using three different methods, a three week moving average, a three week weighted moving average, and exponential smoothing. This question relates to problem 4.1 in your textbook. We have six weeks of previous time series data provided to us ranging from August 1st to October 5th. So we can call that weeks one through six. And we also have actual demand for pints of blood provided in the hospital over the past six weeks. Our first objective is to forecast the demand for October 12th or week seven using a three week moving average. We'll do all of these first manually and then I'll show you how to do them using the Excel OM add-in. So for A, using a three week simple moving average, we'll just call that MA, we always work backwards and we'll take the three previous periods. So that is 381 plus 368 plus 374 divided by three, and that'll give you a forecast of 374.3 pints of blood. Easy peasy. Requirement B, we're now going to use a three week weighted moving average. So what we have here are three weights of 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.6, with 0.6 for the most recent week. Our weights then will be 0 0.6, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1. The weights all have to add up to, in this case, 100% if you're using fractional weights like this. For our three week weighted average calculation, we would take 0 0.1, times 381 plus 0 0.3 times 368 plus 0 0.6 times 374. And those will work out to a weighted moving average of 372.9 pints. In this case, you're not adding them up and dividing by anything. And in case you haven't noticed, a simple three week moving average is the same as a weighted moving average, but in this case, all the weights are the same. So you would have 0 0.33 times 381 plus 0 0.33 times 368 plus 0 0.33 times 374. So really a simple moving average is a weighted moving average where all the weights are the same. So that's requirement B. Now we'll move on to requirement C, where it says, let's compute the forecast for week seven or October 12th using exponential smoothing with a forecast at August 31st of 360 and an alpha or smoothing constant of 0 0.2. This one takes a bit more work, uh, not because it's difficult, but because it, it takes a long time to get down to week seven, but I'll do this manually once. And then after this, you should be able to work through uh, any other problems. So for C using exponential smoothing, we're told that the forecast for week one or F1 is 360 and the alpha, which is the smoothing constant is 0.2. All that means is that we attach a weight of 20% on the difference between the previous period's forecast and the actual, which is also known as the error. So the formula for exponential smoothing looks like this. FT, so the forecast for the time period you're looking at is FT minus one or the previous period plus the alpha or smoothing constant times the difference between last period's actual minus last period's forecast. So our forecast for week one is already provided to us at 360. We need a forecast to kick us off. The forecast for week two is going to be the forecast for week one, which is 360 plus 0 0.2 times the difference between the previous period's actual, which is 360. Incidentally, just to make sure you're on the same page, that this last column refers to actual demand, A. And we're going to subtract the previous period's forecast, which is also 360. So in the first period, the, in this case, the actual demand is equal to the forecast for week one. Well, this gives you a value of 360. No surprise, that's okay. The forecast for week three is going to be the forecast for week two, which is 360 plus 20% of the difference between 389, which is the week two actual minus the week two forecast of 360. Well, that will give you 365.8 pints. The forecast for week four is 365.8 plus 20% of the difference between 410, which is the week three actual, minus the week three forecast of 365.8. And that gives you an answer of 374.64. The forecast for week five is that answer 374.64 plus 
0 0.20 times the difference between 381 pints actual minus 374.64 and that gives you 375.91 pints forecast f6 is 375.91 plus 20 percent of the difference between 368 minus 375.91 that gives us 374.33 and then finally the forecast for period 7 which is the one we're looking at is 374.33 again that is the f6 forecast plus 20 percent times the difference between the weak 6 actual of 374 so this is a6 minus the f6 374.33 and that is 374.26 so there you have it manual calculations of a three-week moving average a three-week weighted moving average and then exponential smoothing now i'll show you how to do this using xlom and it'll be a lot quicker and more fun so once you have Excel OM properly installed on your computer, uh, make sure that you read the directions for other Mac or PC. You launch it by selecting the appropriate um, uh, alias or icon that's installed on your desktop or in the download folder. And you'll be asked if you want to uh, enable or disable macros. You need to enable the macros, otherwise it won't work properly. And you may see this come up twice. So just make sure you enable it. Then what you should see is in the ribbon or in the top toolbar, somewhere you should see an XLOM menu. And then if you click on that, then your options in the ribbon show up as they relate to the XLOM product. So what we want to do for forecasting is you can select by chapter and a yellow box will pop up and you want forecasting. And the first one that we want to do for this problem is going to be using a three week moving average. So you can also increase the size of the font for the menu. So we want a forecasting moving average and naive so we'll click that and then you see this pink uh, box come up and we'll just give it a title this is for problem 4.13 month moving average and we'll also put that in the sheet now you can see in the data that you're given you have six previous periods of data so we want to increase that to six uh, and these are for weeks so we'll just change the period name to week and our first requirement is asking us to do a three week moving average so we'll increase the number of periods average to three you can leave the options for tracking signal and graph off for now hit ok and it will create a spreadsheet for you and we'll just zoom in and as you can see we have weeks one through six and we'll enter the demand as given in the problem so 360 pints 389 410 381 368 and 374 and then you can see right here you end up with an answer of 374.33 which is the next period or week seven forecast based on a three month moving average and that's all there is to it if you want to increase or decrease the number of periods I just move the slider back and forth the next requirement is to use a three week weighted moving average so you can add as many tabs to the sheet if you want so we'll just go back and select the uh, om again and this time we want a weighted moving average we'll give this one a name of p 4.1 and we'll call this 3 wma for weighted moving average uh, we still want six previous periods of data we'll still give it a week and we also want to average three periods so we'll click that and then a new sheet is generated we'll zoom in uh, now to avoid having to duplicate our work we can just copy uh, and paste the demand f that we already had in the problem from the previous model uh, and this time we want to put in weights so the problem is directing us to give us weights of 0 0.1 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 with 0 0.6 for the most recent week usually the most recent periods are weighted the highest so 0 0.6 0 0.3 and 0 0.1 one and as you can see the sum of all the weights should act uh, equal 1.0 or 100 percent and presto changeo right away the next period's forecast for week seven is 372.9 or 373 pints since we really can't have a partial pint so that's how you use it to do a uh, weighted moving average our third requirement is to do the forecast again for week seven or october 12th using exponential smoothing so we'll just go back to OM again the little box pops up this time we want to pick exponential smoothing from the menu let's call this one p 4.1 expo for exponential smoothing we'll give it that name in the tab as well 
Uh, we want six previous periods of data. We call them weeks and we'll leave the options blank for now. Hit OK. Generates an empty sheet. We'll just go back and select the same demand. I'll just copy and paste those so we don't have to retype them. And we are asked to use an alpha smoothing constant of 0.2. And you can see that the forecast model automatically defaults by putting the, force, the first forecast to be equal to the first period's demand. In different uh, problems, we'll end up changing that. But in essence, the next period or the week seven forecast with a smoothing constant of 0.2 is 374 0.2 pints, and of course you can change the alpha factor to be 0 0.4, 0 0.5, whatever you like. Uh, the alpha constants that are normally used range from 0 0.05 to 0.5, so that's basically from 5 to 50% weighting on the most recent, uh, what we call error, the difference between the previous period's forecast and the actual. And that's how you use XLOM to solve the three requirements for problem 4.1.